Welcome to the second module of the course on early childhood care and education. To introduce you to the topic on principles of growth and development and interrelatedness of the domains of development, let me ask you three questions. The first question is that, have you heard your grandmother and even your mother saying when the child is supposed to lie prone on his chest, crawl with four legs, walk without support or speak words etc. The second question that I wanted to ask you was, have you ever heard or wondered why does a child who holds a ball with two hands is not able to grasp an object appropriately with one hand and a child who can grasp an object cannot hold a crayon and rightly scribble on a paper. The third question is that, have you ever asked yourself, why do I change rapidly or else why am I not like my friend? Yeah, very sure. You would have asked these questions several times in your life, but still wondering how and why of those facts. I'm sure this module would answer you. The human life starts with a pin-sized fertilized cell, which is then nurtured in the mother's womb for nine months and delivered to face the outside world. After birth, the baby is under constant interaction with the environment, comprising of changes in size and weight called as growth, and certain qualitative changes in the intellectual and psychosocial arenas refer to as development. Though the process of growth and development is continuous, rapid and significant, development is said to be rapid and tricky in the first few years of life. Knowledge of the pattern and trends of the growth and development need to be well comprehended by a caretaker or a teacher the teacher is supposed to be a facilitator. To know what to expect from them, how to guide them and how to enrich their environment in providing optimum development. This module would come to you as three videos and the learning outcome at the completion of the module, you would be able to understand the concept and differentiate the terms growth and development, describe the principles of growth and development and apply the same to understanding the process of early care and early learning. The third outcome is to identify the significant domains of development and recognize its interrelatedness in the development of young children. Now on to the first objective or the learning outcome that is about the growth and development. The two terms growth and development in general sounds as synonymous terms but in the field of education the terms are entirely different but it has to be realized that the two terms are related to one another. The term growth is defined as the progressive increase in the size of the body or body parts of a child. It is a process by which the body reaches its point of complete physical growth, that is the growth from the fertilized egg at the time of conception to the fully grown body of the adult. The term development refers to the progressive series of orderly and coherent acquisition of various abilities. It is a gradual process of change and differentiation from a simple to a more advanced level of complexity. Thereby, development leads to maturity. In the definition, the term progressive signifies that the changes are directional that lead forward rather than backward. Whereas the term orderly and coherent suggests that there is a clear relationship between the changes taking place and that proceed or follow those changes. These definitions indicate that the concept of growth and development is separate but they are simultaneous 
an interdependent process. For example, stunting growth may often result in deficits in development. Now, after looking into the definitions of growth and development, it is very important to understand the difference between the two terms. Though the definition seems to be complex to understand, the points that is given to you in the table form would give you a clarity in understanding the differences. Growth is something that denotes the structural and physical changes within the body of the individual right from conception to the adult period. Whereas development refers to the growth and scope of physical and mental progress a person is capable of achieving. At the same time, growth refers to increase in body size, length, height, weight, etc. Whereas development refers to overall changes in shape, form or structure resulting in the improved acquisition of skills. Growth is indicative by nature. Whereas development is not indicative of nature. Growth denotes quantitative changes, whereas development denotes qualitative changes in a person. Growth occurs externally and stops at a certain stage. Whereas development is something that occurs internally and never stops and it is a continuous process. Growth quantifies physical progress. Whereas development quantifies cognitive, emotional and social, thereby we can say it as the overall psychological process. Let us see what are the factors that affect this growth and development in a human being. The growth and development of a child depend on two major factors namely genetic and environmental influences what we call it as nature and nurture influences. The potential and limitations of a child's growth and development, though determined by genetic factors, the environment aids in the achievement of the so-called genetic potential. Hence, it should be realized that the genetic factors, though beyond alterations, the environmental factors could be minimized or maximized in tune with the genetic potential. Some of the favorable environmental factors are adequate nutrition, emotional support by means of adequate love, security, recognition, independence and overall acceptance of an individual, adequate play and effective language training. Needless to mention, few of the unfavorable environmental factors are malnutrition, infections, hormonal imbalances, disability, lack of love, care, affection, improper play behavior, etc. As growth is a quantitative measure, is measured using height, weight, head circumference, mid upper arm circumference and teeth eruption in a child. Then how do we measure development? Development is measured by two ways. The two ways of measuring the development are developmental milestones and developmental task. The developmental milestones are nothing but the skills that a child should acquire within a stipulated period. Whereas the developmental task is a term that is coined by Harvey Gerst and he defines a developmental task as specific task that should be accomplished by every individual within a span of time in their life and the success in achieving those tasks would lead to success and happiness whereas failure leads to difficulty in accomplishing further tasks and ultimately unhappiness. Thank you for patient listening. Hope to meet you for the second part of this module 2 regarding the principles of growth and development.